foreign institution ownership in the Indian textile stocks has increased from 3.8% to 7.5% in the span of last three years. It has doubled. This is not actually China plus one, but in effect, I would call this Bangladesh plus one. Indian textile companies are having no match to the scale at which the China is manufacturing and processing its bulk textiles. Bangladesh is more into stitching and finishing side where cheap labor is involved and no other country can match the cost of Bangladeshi labor. With the recent unrest in Bangladesh, there is a huge opportunity for Indian textile mills as well as Indian garmenting industry snatching the market share which was once given to Bangladesh by India itself. Another reason for increased FII ownership in the Indian textile sector could be the reasonable valuation at which the textile stocks are available. It is very rare to see in these days in the Indian listed space stocks which are trading at price earning multiples of below 20. The textile stocks are at those valuations in and around those valuations at the moment. Another positive in the textile sector which we could see as a logic of FII investment is the fact that the expansions of capacity are not entirely backed by debt funds but they are mostly coming from internal accruals and internal cash flows of the companies. There is a prudent mix of debt and equity while putting up new capacities by the companies. Not, this in fact applies not only to textile but other sectors of, of India as well. The only risk here which I would like to highlight is that the rate of growth of any textile business will not be north of 25-30%. The balance sheet will not double in 3-4 years. This fact actually enhances the stock performance. But in the textile sector, the growth will be in the range of 15% or so, which would also be subject to the whims and fancies of the retail consumer market. And of course, the commodity prices, the cotton prices and the polymer prices and so on and so forth. Although there is enough domestic demand on the consumer side of textiles and ready-made garments, the export demand is subdued and will continue to be subdued in the next one or two years. So while picking any textile stock, one has to be really selective and really have the understanding of the clear headwinds and the tailwinds in the sector. Because essentially, in this sector, there are both headwinds and tailwinds present at the same time. Though some headwinds would not apply to a few textile companies which would create good investment opportunities to bet in the sector. Now it is on our skill to identify the companies where there are tailwinds.